I'm sadly the best arrangement in here, but we're going to try it this time, so thank you for being patient with us, and welcome. We're so delighted that you came tonight. Um, just a quick little word. Last month, because we didn't have a clue about the color guard and all that, not everything was on the video, but Mac, with his talent, Yay! was able to... <laughs> incorporate not only what the kids did into the recording but we had talked about the fact that we finally got the plaque put up on the tropical time tunnel and matt was also able to incorporate some of that so if you if you get on our youtube site and i have the um url on a piece of paper in my pocket i will hand them out before you leave, you can see the time tunnel, you can see the kids, you can some of their things, and it's all part of our October 13th meeting video. So thank you, Mac, for a lot of hours that you put together to get it together. My pleasure. <laughs> and with no further ado, um, I will call this meeting to order, and I think our first order of business is our flag salute. I'm right behind you, Gretchen. Yeah. I'm here. 
And, yeah, well, we'll give the cadets a chance to have a seat. Oh, okay. While they're doing that, I'll take care of a little bit of housekeeping. Um, we are the Kern Antelope Historical Society. Uh, we are a cheap date. We meet 10 times a year. And so for a couple that's $20, you will not get a better deal for a full 10 dates for 20 bucks. Uh, we take cash, we take check, and you can also zail us, so if you're interested in that. Uh, uh, for anybody that is looking, uh, we are doing our Christmas party at Guido's the second Thursday of December, and that's $23, and that also can go to that Zelle address. Um, tonight, we are here to honor uh, Joey Pratty, and before we start, whoops. Before we start, I want to tell you a little bit about, while these youngsters are settling in, how we got to here. Um, I'd like to think I'm a relatively patriotic person and that I have a lot of respect, but I learned something with these Cadet Corps students that I didn't know, and I learned it through my granddaughter's eyes and through Captain Wallace's eyes. And last year, they were doing the wreaths across America. And I watched Captain Wallace tell all of these young cadets that they were to go and stand before every veteran and to salute and to say their name. And it was in the power of saying that they're saying their name that the memory lives on. And it was extremely powerful to me. And I, uh, I think sometimes I, I'll speak for me, tap dance around, we don't know what to say, we don't know what to do, so we do nothing. Um, so uh, I watched these young kids and they all knew Pilar Salazar. Her, she works out at uh, Tropico Middle School. And her son was a Marine who was killed in a car accident off the base. And he is buried in Arvin. And every last one of those cadets took the time to come and salute him. And, and I was awestruck. I was awestruck by their respect I was awestruck by the honor and by the process. And Pilar was not there. Uh, she'd already come and gone. So that was something I learned, those cadets learned, and the other family members that were around. And so our intention with telling Joey's story is that this will be a story and a legacy that will continue way beyond tonight and will be something that everybody can tap into. So that's our goal. So Art, um, without further ado, I'll have you come up. This is Joey Pratty's father, Art Pratty. And Art, you and I are gonna sit down. Okay. And... Good evening. As important as art is, before art, there was Tracy and there was Joey. And there is no special, more special bond than a mother has with her child and maybe with her firstborn child. Not that the rest aren't precious, but with her firstborn child. Yes. And the specialness that you see right there with Tracy and with Joey and the love that the two of them shared and just such a unique and special relationship 
And I sometimes I worry Tracy gets a little bit lost in the shuffle. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure we honored her tonight. Yes. And I found this that Joey had written for his mom. And uh, part of the club you never want to have to be a part of is being a gold star mother. And to be a gold star mother means that you have lost your child in service. Uh, Caitlin, we would like to honor Joey's mom, uh, Mrs. Pratty, Tracy Pratty, and so we'd like for you to give her some flowers so that we know, she knows that we love her too. <laughs> So as we begin this, um, Art, tell us about Joey here. Well, Joey... And I, and uh, I was told, yeah, Joe, you and I are going to yeah. look right here Joe, and we'll let them look right Joe, there. Joey <laughs> came into my life and he was um, um, three years old. His biological father died when he was a baby so he Our never he, ne he never got to really know his his um, biological father so um, I uh, raised Joey and he came into I had Arthur and Anthony so they became like instant family and um, Joey and Anthony were probably six months apart and they became like twin brothers I never seen a uh, two brothers just bond so close that they wanted to do everything with with um, each other. When one went to the bathroom, the other one went with them, and they sat there and they switched off. It was it was, it was crazy. And, and Tracy said there was something unique about trying to get Joey to sit still for a picture. Yeah, she always had to uh, give him some food or something because he was. He was kind of like hypered. Yeah. <laughs> so if you look here, here is a picture of him uh, sitting still with a snack. And this, this will play out a little bit later, so I want to make sure you notice this. And, whoops, uh oh, I don't know what I've done here. Okay. And here he is with a, a good school picture and everything. And then in this one, that's with his grandpa in Arizona. Whoops, um, you gotta go a little bit closer. His, his grandpa John in Arizona. Uh, he used to go down there and visit him, and and um, he really enjoyed visiting his grandpa. Uh, he'll go out there, and um, they Joey loved basketball, and they kind of like converted him to be a Phoenix Suns fan. <laughs> so, um, but, but right here, yeah. he was supposed to be a cowboy. Yeah. But instead of being a cowboy. Cow dog. Yeah. A cow dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he, he used to say, he was a cow dog. Yeah. <laughs> so long before he was a Marine, he was a cow dog. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this relationship with his grandpa, with Tracy's dad, they shared a love of what here? Well, um, they used, he used to want to dress up like his grandpa with a tie and everything. And, and, and if you met John, John was such a good exam example to Joey's life. He, uh, he was an engineer like two of my sons, so, and he loved airplanes and he, he used to fly he had a he had a, his own airplane so he, he even took Joey flying and all that so they had a good bond together now you can see right here that Joey looks a little bit like a saint right yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you can see right here that maybe the temptation of a swimming pool and a tie might not have been too good of a mix <laughs> And tell us about your family. Well, um, my oldest Arthur, um, um, he's he's and here. Arthur he's will go ahead us, and Arthur. have you stand up yeah. and wave. <laughs> he's also a veteran. He did three tours in Iraq, and um, he was. Uh, yeah. Uh, he was a good example to Joey, and Joey really looked up to him. So, and Anthony. <laughs> Okay, you got Joey, and then you got Arthur, and then Anthony's down here. They were best buds, and then you got Christopher, the one with no teeth, and then Richard. He's he's um, below Arthur, and, and me and me and my wife Tracy. 
Uh, we had five boys, uh, and it was, it, you know, I, I wouldn't trade it in for nothing. I tell we 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 enjoyed. Uh, I put it up. We enjoyed ha having the, you know, now that we have granddaughters, we we were lucky to have five boys. <laughs> <laughs> Because they're so much different to <laughs> girls, you know, so, but it, it was good times. Now, uh, Tracy said there was something special here. We had... Yeah, it was, uh, I say double trouble back then, but it was um, our, um, Joey and um, Anthony, they, 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 every, they went wherever Anthony went, Joey went. Wherever Joey went, Anthony went. They were just like glue. You know, and um, they they really, it was a, a pair meant to be, you know, that God brought them together. I just, uh, it was a blessing to to see how close they got, you know. And this would be a relationship that they would continue. Yes, that's, that's, I, I think they were around seven, seven years old back then. And then you said he had a love of... Basketball. He loved basketball and he loved to play basketball and I, well the other day I was telling you that Joey didn't like to lose and and I used to, uh, we used to, he used to play against me and he'll keep on playing and playing until eventually he beat me and then he was satisfied but he his love was for basketball. When he got older, he um, uh, we used to coach the younger kids, Christopher and Richard, and um, Joey used to stay up at night just drawing out plays, you know. And and I remember telling him, Joey, these these are five and six year olds. You got plays. You got plays here for grown ups. <laughs> but he just wanted to win, you know. And, and uh, he was a good coach. And. Uh, Joey, like all good sports fanatics, always have a, has a team. So what was his team? His team was uh, like, he went and go visit Grandpa and he brainwashed them to be the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> <laughs> but that was okay because we used to watch the Lakers and the Suns play and uh, most of the time Joey would just shoot out after the game because the Lakers always beat him. <laughs> you, know, he, you know, that was a, a bond that we got every time the Lakers and the Suns played. We'll sit down and we'll watch them. And he, I really enjoyed that. And here he is coaching. Yeah, that's, I, we're coaching Christopher and that was uh, Christopher's team. Um, I don't know what year, I forgot what year it was. And one of the things that I thought was kind of interesting with Art, uh, we live in the age of what I call the soccer moms. Everybody gets a trophy, no matter what you've done, how well you've done it, or even if you've showed up. And and Art didn't let Joey win. He had oh, to earn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, until he beat me, yeah. And, and my wife used to say, just let him beat, beat, uh, why don't you let him? I go, I can't, he got to beat, he got to earn it. <laughs> and eventually he did, though. You see by the muscles there, that probably wasn't too long no, after that. No, it wasn't, that. it wasn't. It was a pretty young age. And, uh... Joey loved his nieces. Um, this was Haley when she was a baby, um, Arthur's uh, oldest daughter. And uh, she, he, he used to take his nieces everywhere, you know. And, uh, <laughs> He got a real close bond to him, and they they still talk about Uncle Joey. We got some of our granddaughters that never even seen Joey. They know all about Joey because we all we always, you know, we still celebrate his birthdays, and you know we hang out and we'll um, talk about Uncle Joey. And so if you talk, tell my grand one of my granddaughters, seven years old, never seen Joey. Joey's been gone a lot longer than that. She'll tell you all about Uncle jo Joey. Yeah. yeah. So. Come on in, sweetie. <laughs> and this was Haley, right? That was Haley. And Haley's story will come to play a little bit later here. Well, that's the, all the brothers again. Um, you got Richard and then Joey and Arthur and 
and Chris and Anthony. And, yeah. And I think that was at, could have been at somebody's birthday party, I don't know. All five together. Yeah. And you said that Joey, from the time he was little, uh, you would take him to work. Yeah. And he had kind of an organized structure with keeping things yeah. together. I now, was, you were a plaster. It didn't I was seem a pla I was a plaster, and um, Joey worked with me for many years, and um, he was always very organized. And, you know, and every time I turned around, my tools were washed, and they were all lined up, you know, and... Um, it, you know, I didn't even want my tools washed. You know, I wanted, I was still working, but but Joey would wash the tools all the time. He just wanted to make sure they were clean. Even if, when you went into his room and he had everything all organized, he used to play um, um, with little army men's and he had them all organized. And it was that was Joey. So he was a marine, born a marine, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and. He became a Marine. He became a Marine. Uh, he had a lot of struggles, you know, and it was hard for him to become a Marine because, you know, he got a DUI and he, he got in a um, few incidents where they, they didn't want him to, you know, it was basically he almost didn't make it in. But he kept on training, man. He goes, and uh, he uh, said, Dad, man, I want to be, this is what I want to do. And I go, you know, Joey, if it, if it was, if it's meant to be, it will happen, you know, and it did. It, and eventually they let him um, sign up for and the Marines. And not only did he continue training, but I hear that he was quite the runner. He was a runner, and um, that's one reason why um, we do the run. Um, um, Captain Wallace and his wife, they, a um, few months after Joey's passing, um, well, maybe a couple months, uh, he called me up and he goes, hey, I want to do a run for Joey, you know, for we could um, raise money. And, and and where did Joey run? He's, we, he used to run up, up Roseman Boulevard and up the tank, and he'll have a backpack where he had, a, he used to fill it full of like weights and stuff, and he'll run up and down that uh, the tank, and they call it Joey's Hill now. So, um, and the cadets they 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 honor Joey and they run it. And and, and uh, for anybody that may watch this later on, uh, you'd like to do something with that tank. Yeah. Well, we we I started a dark horse challenge, and maybe later on, you know, I, I like to well with the. Uh, every once in a while, um, Captain Wallace will call us and we'll run up the, the run with all the cadets and that's a blessing. Um, and um, I'll, I'll like to start meeting, you know, if people want to meet and, and just, you know, to honor them and to run if people want to, you know, um, get in shape or just even walk it, you know. Uh, I told Art, you know, maybe the first Saturday of the month or something, yes. he can gather those of you that are a little more athletically inclined <laughs> and run Joey's Hill. Um, now, Joey didn't just become a military person. He strove to become a... A Marine. A Marine. Yeah. And he became part of, an, of a specific group. Yeah, the 3-5. Uh, and... Um, they, they, if you see the history of the three five, they, they, um, they have a long history back from World War II. Uh, but um, he, he really wanted. He was excited to go. He was excited to go there, and he wanted to do infantry. He became a rifleman. Um, um, but when he got deployed, the uh, machine gun, um, uh, the guy that that was. Um, carrying the machine gun he he something happened to him he couldn't go but Joey right away said I'll I'll be the I'll I'll um I'll be the machine gun uh so he they switched him um, from being a rifleman to uh being a machine gun and uh, gun. part of their creed is that they say what get some okay and uh Tell us about this time here with him. Oh, that was when he was, that was the day he was going to leave. Uh, we were in um, San Clemente, 
and we hung out for the day and there were a bunch of family members and we used to always meet Joey um, uh, when he was stationed in Camp Pendleton. We used to meet him in the weekend. Sometimes we'll go to San Clemente and me and my wife still go there just because the memories, you know, of Joey. Uh, but um, we hung out at San Clemente and then he deployed um, um, that night from Camp Pendleton. And, and I want you to take note of this group because you will see this follow through. So this was more than just this time and just this moment. And when was this, Art? This was it is, that's when he graduated, right? Graduation. Yeah, 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 graduation. And there's my mom. My mom and Joey were real close. Uh, they, right he, here. grandma, yeah. So she, my, my mom, my mom got was really excited for Joey when he graduated. And we got Haley. There she is when she was a baby. And, our, and, this, and there's Arthur. Uh huh. And my my brother Frank. He's a <laughs> Vietnam. He went two tours. He's in the back. He did two tours in Vietnam. Right here. Yeah, yeah. That's my brother Frank in the background. Okay, and uh, what an awesome smile. Yeah, yeah, we use that a lot. There was a little bit of a story I read about his bushy eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't quite see it in this picture, but he had some manscape eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but part of being in a Marine is, is the bond and the camaraderie. I, I think that was in Korea. Was that in Korea? Yeah. With his buddies. Um, he, yeah, he uh, really got close to a bunch of them. Well, you become a Marine, you become brothers. They, they, um, they really love Joey and we still, they, they're always texting and stuff like that. And, um, the bond's still there. It's like we got, our family got bigger. You know, um, Joey's up in heaven, but we, we got some of his brothers from the Marines. They're, they're like family to us. So Tracy got more boys. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and you see right there, and you see Joey in the middle, and he's doing something unique with his hands. What's he doing? The three five. The three five, yeah. and the three five is from the, the third, the third battalion, fifth marine. Okay. Yeah, that's where where he was, um, the where he he was stationed. He was uh, he was uh, that was part of his group, and he was in Kilo Company. Okay. Um, and Joey had a unique knack for being able to do what? Sleep, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he loved to sleep. So he, he could sleep anywhere. That must come from having all these brothers around. <laughs> and if you notice, Joey's getting a picture, but what's he got in his hand? Food again. <laughs> yeah, you know when when Joey got um, deployed to Afghanistan, we sent the box like probably two weeks before or something, before he even left. Oh. So when he got there, that box was there. So, yeah, so he had a lot, he was sharing with all his friends and all that. Yeah, so. It was probably the hit, and that's probably the snacks is why you got the picture. <laughs> yeah, so he had his snacks as soon as he got there, yeah. Uh, when there has been a death within the camp, can you tell us, Art, what they do? Uh, that was uh, military, the military cross. And Joe, they had, they gave us one of those that they made for uh, Joey, and um, we still have it. Um, basically, um, it's for the fallen. Okay. And uh, you and Tracy had a day and Dover. a notice that would change your lives forever. And so, can you tell us? I'm pretty sure that was in Dover um, when we went down there. Uh, 
That's where you they fly them in from Afghanistan. Okay. And uh, this, I believe, was the this service at the high school. At the high school gym, yeah. I, I recall that, yeah. And there were more than 1,000 people in that gym for Joey. Uh, the love and respect for him was tremendous. And uh, you guys have talked about Camp Pendleton. Yeah, and they have a memorial up in the, there's this hill out there and they have the memorial for every, all the battles that they did and they have one there for the, uh, for Afghanistan also. And we climb it, you know, we, we went a few times and we climb it or you could drive, um, but you gotta go a long ways to drive up there. Basically, they got all their names on a cross. And is that well? The yeah, there's, there's, it's, it's probably uh, they're honoring different. It's not just of, of the Afghanistan. They have the Iraq and Vietnam. They have crosses for. Um, for the different battles that they were up there. So they're not all for Afghanistan. Okay, so each each cross represents a battle? Yeah, yeah, there's um, some, they might be have one or two, um, but they had different crosses for different battles. Okay, all righty. And then, um, much like the picture that we saw of Joey's family all united when he left. You continue to see this family rally together. Um, yeah, we climbed, uh, we climbed uh, the hill up there. Uh, my, if you could see, I think that's Julian and Jax, and um, they never, they never seen their Uncle Joey, but they know about their Uncle Joey because um, we do stuff like that and we, we talk about them. And, and my son Arthur always talks about them, about their Uncle, Uncle Joey. And if you, like I said, if you ask him something about them, their Uncle Joey, they know, you know. They know. And can you tell us what this is that's up there? Well, I know there's a dog tags and, and there's some, they have the, some of the honor coins up there, the. Can you tell uh, us what an honor coin is? Um, well, they, uh, uh, Charlie could tell you more about it, you it's know. It's yeah, It's like challenge, yeah. Meet somebody from that unit, you're supposed to have it when. Well, so I'm gonna have you come up here, Charlie, and explain it a little bit for yeah. us. So it's like a, a, a unit challenge coin and from a unit or a, a, a maybe a war or something you would give to people as a way to honor them. And then if you see them again, they're supposed to have that challenge coin or I think what Kaden, you said, the person who doesn't, ha who has it eats for free or something like that. <laughs> yeah, <I see. laughs> now that sounds like a good deal. <laughs> okay, and not only do you have the memorials at Pendleton that the Marines have done at uh, Joshua Memorial? Yes. Uh, they have done what? Well, we have, that's where we have Joey at, at um, Joshua Memorial. And, um, so they have, uh, they also honor the, the servicemen there. They, uh, and they the have memorial. a veteran circle. Yeah, ve yeah the veteran circle is right there that is designed and uh, one of the things that Tracy and I were talking about um, Joey is still part of the family uh, and and what do you do with the family you you celebrate holidays together you celebrate birthdays together and Tracy decorates for every holiday. So we have Christmas, 
We have Easter. We have Memorial Day. And even Valentine's Day. And, uh, and once again, part of the family. And so you have a little one here. Yeah, um, that was my, is that, is that Ryan. Jax? Ryan. Who? Oh, oh the, that was one of the, um, Joey's good friend, um, um, Brian's uh, daughter, right? Yeah. The son. Paisley. Oh, it's Paisley. Okay, She's yeah. wearing pink, but that's yeah. not necessarily. <laughs> And, and you see, she's also got Joey's yeah. memorial t-shirt on. And our, I'm going to have you read this. We believe your daughter wrote this. And so I'm going to have you come on up here, hon. Wait a minute, you've got to do the mic switch. I've got to do the mic switch. Yeah. Okay, or can you? I saw it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is probably some time. Whoops, can you hear both? Yeah. You give with both? You got a clip here, hon. Yeah, just hold it up there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. double fisted. Okay. <laughs> this is probably sometime closer to when Joey passed. Uh, like my dad was saying, my daughter was really, really close to her uncle Joey. Um, he would take her for the weekend or, or whatever. But um, this says, uh, somebody that loves me is my uncle Joey. He shows love by giving hugs and kisses, and we also like to go for a walk together and I miss him with all my heart. Even I don't see him that that much, I still love him very much and he is the best uncle. She was, <laughs> if she was here she'd be crying. Uh, she loves him a lot and uh, she does miss her Uncle Joey. So. Thank you. She's 22 now. <laughs> And uh, so out of all of this, you kind of wonder how does a family survive and, and what does a family do? And like you said, uh, Captain Wallace came to you and you guys started what? We started a 5K run. Um, we started off um, um, donating the money to uh, wounded warriors and um, Use for Christ. As time went on, um, Gretchen Catherwood, he, he his her son died with the same day um, Joey's. Um, he got killed in action the same day um, Joey did, and she started uh, the Dark Horse Lodge. So once she started and you that, you see that right there. It yeah. says Dark Heart yeah. Horse Lodge. Yeah. So once um, she started that, my wife and her are very close. They're always talking and texting and. So we um, we started moving the money down there uh, from the five k run, and 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 it's almost complete complete completed. But um, it's going to still take a lot to keep it going, you know. So we're going to continue to do the run in, um, every year. And they they chose that because it uh, gives one hundred percent back to the military, to these veterans. It is not being funneled into administrative costs and all of those things. And with all things, you have to have a starting point. And so this became, I think, your guys' starting point. Yeah. That's the, the start for the 5K run. And, and, and we have it at the high school. Every year, the week after M Memorial Day, the so Saturday. So it's the Saturday after Memorial yeah, Day. Yeah. And it's pretty well attended. And once the again, cadets, you have. Uh, we, we are blessed to have them here in Rosemont. You know, they're, they always honor Joey at the run and. and that, that's incredible to yeah. see the level of honor and respect yeah. out of young people. Oh, this whole cadet, this whole group. No, 
the tall, the tall one. one right oh, there. The oh, the tall. Oh, whoops. Okay, he, tell me again. He graduated, no? No, huh? he's, he's, he's acting at court. Oh, yeah. Right now. Wow, okay. awesome. Don't worry. Uh, and I, I was just so impressed by this picture. The attention out of the whole group that has stopped to, t to pledge. And art, on the back of every shirt, you have... Well, we, we change them up every year. Um, that one has the text. Uh, we made some with um, Joey's text in the back. Okay. And there's you and Tracy. Yeah. See, the joy it brings to my wife to see that we are able to raise money for... for I don't, I don't, under Joey's name to, you know, to help others, it's, it's a blessing. And my, my grandson, um, Jackson Julian. And so even all the little folks participate They get involved, in they're this. passing out medals. And there's Arthur and um, Alessandra. Okay. Yeah, that's my other granddaughter, Alessandra. And this is a family that sees things through to the finish. They don't quit. Uh, and they continue to honor Joey with... Yeah, I don't know if you know um, Jin Her, um, um, he's, he's, he's the owner of uh, Crazy Autos. He ran a marathon to raise the money to put that sign up. Um, and we, we will never forget that, that. It was, I forgot how much was it going to cost, but... It, yeah, it was thirty five hundred or something. And Jay's yeah. Hideaway, the owners did yeah, that. Yeah, no, um, no, Crazy Autos. Crazy Autos yeah. in Jen, Lancaster. Lancaster, yeah. Okay, but yeah. I'm sorry. So he ran a marathon and he raised all the money for us to get the sign. Two signs, one in the north side, one in the south side. And uh, he is honored in art. Yeah, in, in ba Baker's lowercase art. Yeah. <laughs> um, in Bakersfield. In Bakersfield, there's a veterans uh, thing and they got, I think that one was in Bakersfield, right? Yeah. And one of the things that comes back to me time and time and time again is the family is still part of this. You know, you just kind of see Joey hanging out with everybody. Uh, and then there is an actual, how we have a Vietnam wall for those of you that may go tomorrow down to Palmdale, there is. Well, I, I didn't know they had that in Palmdale. That looks no, like that's the one not in Camp, Palmdale. That's in Camp Pendleton, yeah. Camp Pendleton. Yeah, I've seen that in Camp Pendleton, but i never seen it in Palmdale. No, Palmdale has the Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam, okay. Uh, and then you said the city of Laguna has taken in these 25 Marines, and they, they honor them. Yeah, basically they had they, they kind of like adopted the 25 for the, you know, the, and they run a 5K, a half marathon, and a, and, and a, and a 10K. And they honor the, the three five there uh, in our memor Memorial Day. That's where our family, we always go there. We meet some of the Gold Star families there, so. And they have all 25 of those flags up throughout the run. And uh, and once again, you know, you just see Joey hanging out with the family. And I love this one. You know, doesn't it just seem like he's just sitting there talking with Tracy, saying, yeah. hey, Mom. Yep. Uh, and I, I put this one in here because Alec Catherwood's mother and father yeah. are the ones who have the dark horse lodge they're the ones who started it yeah who started the dark horse lodge and so if you get a chance they're the dark horse lodge doc, dot, dot org um and once again and then joey's last text to art said what uh, I'm gonna let Pastor Charlie read read it. Um, okay, um, Charlie. Um, Charlie, yeah, he'll he'll read it. But um, Joey sent me the text. It's because it's I could read it, but I'll probably 
it would be hard for me right now. Okay. Um, he sent me that at, um, actually it was about 1.15 in the morning and I got the text. Um, and I heard my phone going off, so I went and got the text. And I, I remember texting him back. Mm -hmm. So I, I immediately texted him back. Um, but I didn't know if he got the text because he left. Uh, but a few years later, I, I met one of the Marines and he said he read your text right before he left. You know, so that was, that was good to know. Okay, so Charlie. All right. Hey, Dad, I'm flying out of Leatherneck tonight to my area of operations. So this is the last time I'll be texting you. I've been reading the Bible every day and talking to God every day and it's been helping me a lot so far if for some reason something happens to me and I don't come home make sure mom understands I have a relationship with God now and I'm okay I love you dad and as we end today like we began um, I'm going to have you stand up Charlie and I'm going to have you do what we're supposed to do here. So, Charlie, what's... So, uh, we uh, are going to say his name, uh, but we're also going to say the 3-5 motto, which we do all the time at Cadet Corps. <laughs> so, would you, would you just stand, and we're going to say, uh, repeat his name with me. Lance Corporal Joseph Lopez Pratty. Pratty. Ready? Lance Corporal Pratty. Joseph Lopez Pratty. Pratty. And then, uh, I... I think I'll have, uh, come here, Captain Shodin. Uh, he will say the three, five, and then we'll say get some. The mic set. Well, they, they want to hear you on the, on the camera. Okay. Uh, the motto is three, five, and then you repeat get some. Three, five, get some. Three, five, get some. Three, five, get some. Who? That's actually Thank you so much, and may tomorrow be blessed. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.